Hello, church family. Here's your Wednesday Minister Moment. Last week, I had a scheduled Zoom meeting with another minister from New Mexico. We were scheduled to meet at, at 2 o'clock on Thursday. And so I sit down at my desk and, and sign into the Zoom meeting at 2, and, and uh, he's not online yet. And so uh, I wait, figuring that, you know, he'll be there in just a, a few minutes. It's 5 after 2. He's still not there. I'm thinking that maybe something has held him up, and, and he'll be here shortly. Uh, then it's 2.10, and I'm wondering what he, whether he remembered the meeting. At 2.15, I decided to text him, Hey, uh, were you still wanting to meet today? And so he responds, and he says, Yeah, I still want to meet. Uh, it's supposed to be at 2 o'clock, right? And my thought is, it is 2. It's after 2. Why aren't you here? And then it hit me. We're in two different time zones. And... He hasn't realized it either. The thing is, I knew that we were in two different time zones, but I never really thought much about it. And so we have failed to realize the context of each of our situations. I'm thinking two o'clock my time when that's actually one o'clock his time. And he's thinking two o'clock his time, which would actually make it three o'clock my time. And so we miscommunicated pretty poor, uh, pretty badly uh, in that situation because we fail to understand the context of each other's situation. Earlier this week, Adam was talking in his ministry moment about following the golden rule, about how that is really needed in our world today. Uh, treating others the way that you want to be treated. If, if you're talking with someone, uh, try to put yourself in their shoes so that you would know how to respond. If you were them, how would you want to be treated in that situation? It's, it's similar to that, where we try to understand the other person's context, context so that we know how to talk with them, how to communicate. Uh, because if we don't do that, sometimes we assume things, and sometimes we're misinformed, and therefore we have the wrong information, and, and we react the wrong way. You know, we as Christians have been encouraged in Scripture to uh, share Jesus with other people, who we, uh, God wants us to tell others about Jesus. But we can also, when we fail to understand the other person, where they're coming from, we can fail to communicate Jesus in the way that it needs, He needs to be communicated. We may use words like sanctification or redemption or salvation. And, and while people may understand those words, they may not as well. Their interpretation or understanding of them might be different. Even the word love can be misunderstood because people look at it in so many different ways. And so we have to be careful to make sure we understand their context. Paul writes about this, actually, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. He says this, he says, Even though I am free, I'm a free man with no master, I have become a slave to all people to bring many to Christ. When I was with the Jews, I lived like a Jew to bring the Jews to Christ. And when I was with those who followed the Jewish law, I too lived under that law, even though uh, I, am not a, I am not subject to that law. I did this so I could bring to Christ those who are under the law. When I'm with the Gentiles who do not follow the Jewish law, I too live apart from the law so that I can bring them to Christ. But I do not ignore the law of God. I obey the law of Christ. When I'm with those who are weak, I share in their weakness, for I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone doing everything I can to save some. That idea of common ground is extremely important. Uh, we should seek to find common ground, because when we can do that, then it helps us in our communication. But when we have misunderstood the context, we don't communicate very well. Uh, when my oldest daughter, Kayla, was four years old, uh, she and I were riding in the car together. Back then, she was able to ride in the front seat, um, and, and I, maybe it was four, maybe it was five. It might have been a little bit older than that, but she was riding in the front seat. And so uh, the sun was in our eyes. We were driving directly into the sun. We were stopped at a stoplight, and she was bent over with her face down on, in her lap. I said, Kayla, uh, is the sun in your eyes? She goes, no. I said, well, why are you bent down like that? Because it's too bright. And I said, well, I thought you said the sun wasn't in your eyes. She goes, it's not in my eyes. It's in the sky. That made perfectly good sense. Uh, 
I was, we were both saying the same thing. We were using different words and I failed to realize or failed to take into consideration at that point, the context for her. She's very con concrete in her thinking. I was using kind of a metaphor here. So we can do the same thing when we're trying to share Jesus with other people if we don't understand where they're coming from. So what we need to do and what my encouragement to you is that let's look, let's find common ground, like Paul said. Let's look at the context of their situation. Let's listen first so that we know how to respond. Let's understand their context so that we can, can communicate the message of Jesus well. I hope this is encouraging to you, and I hope you have a great day.